Not really surprising that uh, the Iranians are saying, you know what, we're not going to do what the, the Americans want us to mm. do. Um, do you think that there's any chance at all that we're going to get consensus at this meeting? I think uh, they will manage to, and I think there will be an increase. I think probably it will be a compromise. The 1.5 million barrel per day hike proposed by, by Russia uh, appears to be a classic negotiation tactic. You know, when you see people saying we, do, we want zero hike, uh, you try and put up a, a bigger number and so that maybe you'll meet at the midpoint. So I do think there will be. I think Russia and Saudi Arabia have enough clout, plenty of weight within the organization. We heard uh, Bijan, Zamdar, uh, Bijan Zangane just now, the Iranian oil minister. You know, Iranian consternation is understandable. Uh, especially at the role U.S. is playing in all of this with the sanctions uh, coming up and, uh, you know, ask, Trump asking uh, Saudis to increase. But they have to bring a better argument to the table because the supply outages, the unforeseen, unplanned, unintended supply outages are just too many. It's gone way beyond the 1.8 million barrels per day that they wanted to cut. Mm. Okay, so... If you believe that they are going to come to any consensus, and the consensus could be around about the midpoint, so let's call it, what, 800, seven, 800, 50, 800. Yeah, 1,000. <laughs> what does that do to the price? So a 750 to 800, I think, um, is a... I, I, the 300,000 barrels per day, as I said in my notes, is a, is a Band-Aid solution on a gunshot wound. It's almost, you know, <laughs> useless. The minister's not even worth meeting for, for that. Um, a 750 to 800, I think, will be just enough now. I mean, look at Libya. That, overnight, over the weekend, it has lost 400,000 barrels per day of production. Then we're talking about close to 900,000 barrels per day shortfall in Venezuela alone. Then you have Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Mexico, Angola, all underproducing or producing below their targets. So what does 800,000 do? It probably cools down the market a little bit. It keeps Brent from spiking towards 80 again. Uh, but you know, all you need is another, another outage in Libya, Nigeria, uh, mm. a plummeting Venezuelan production again asserting itself on, on the market psyche and you have Brent going uh, up towards 80 again. I think for now it'll be enough but what OPEC needs to do really is fine tuning. You know, just a one uh, decision in six months uh, is not going to do the trick. The time has come for them to use a scalp. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.